you and I thank you that even though we don't know the words <laughs> even though I got off on this track God we love worshiping you anyway and your presence is real and we love being in the middle of your presence so Lord we just worship you we thank you for freedom and we thank you for being present in your presence in Jesus name today. I don't know about y'all.
His power can still raise the dead. Don't tell me that He's finished
is your testimony right now. You're committing to doing that. You know, um, exactly one week ago at this time, Paul and I were standing in a worship night in Lincoln, England. And yes, it was night because it's six hours ahead. And we were lost in worship, just lost in worship. The same living God. We have friends that are pressing into the same kingdom reality. That means you have friends. And I looked down at the marvel of my Apple Watch, and right then a text popped up from someone who had come just to hear Tab preach. How about that? I've heard it. Yeah, how about that? What I love is that she gave you substance to take home. Paul Gehring as well. We're so happy for the two weeks that happened that went forth from this platform while we were away. But this person who I value greatly, she doesn't attend the Abbey, but I value her greatly. And she said, Tab was amazing. And also I just got to meet your granddaughter for the first time and hold her. And I don't know if I can explain to you the moment I had. I'm standing there 4,600 miles away. I looked at my phone and I thought how real it is that there's no distance in the spirit. Church had just gotten out here and my heart was 100% there singing the praises of our God and also 100% here rejoicing that we are all in this together. And I just wanted to bring that to you this morning because I'm aware that there's some of you out there that may feel so alone. You may feel like you're not enfolded in that circle of relationships and God wants to tell you that distance is not a matter of miles, it's just a matter of awareness. He's for you. He's with you. This is a kingdom of relationships. So I don't care if you think you need more friends. We all need friends. But I want to assure you that God is your heavenly friend. And he is right now, right there accepting you. There is no distance. Because he has closed that distance with the cross. Jesus became one with you as he hung on that cross. And he took on everything that could create distance. So can I just invite you as we pray? We're going to pray here. Can I just invite you to say yes to the kingdom in which there's no distance? You are not alone. Your faith qualifies you to be connected. And people may let you down, but the living God is right there for you, connected. So, Father, we just press into that right now. Just lift your voice and express that to him, that you receive his presence. Lord, there's no distance in the spirit. And so, Father, we turn our hearts toward you. We thank you that you want nothing more than to hug us unto yourselves. And, Lord, we just give you praise. This morning, while we're together, would you lift our eyes to the bigger picture? Would you lift our eyes to the fact that our dreams aren't as far away as we think. Relationships healed aren't as far away as we think. All the things that are the goodness of the kingdom of the living God are right here and right now. And together, together we're pressing into it. Whether we know each other well or not, Father, we acknowledge that we really need each other because this is a group experience. We thank you for the shared experience of kingdom, both here and around the world. I think we just need to give him praise for the fact that the kingdom is advancing around the world. Can you just lift your voice? You're a part of something bigger than yourself. Rejoice this morning. Your dreams are connected to a kingdom full of dreamers. Yeah, you will not be shaken. You will not be shaken. And I just declare in any areas where you're needing to know that, that even while you sit here this morning, without your name being called, without a prophetic word being given, peace is still settling in upon you in those situations that need it. So you can just relax and let God be God. Let him do what he does best. Let him be God and reveal to you how awesome he thinks you are. Yeah, I said it. You're awesome. Amen. Amen. Well, give the Lord one more praise and you can be seated. Thank you to the worship team. That was a great song we just sang. 
That, that song had so much potential, that third song. So we'll be revisiting that, I'm sure. Well, if, uh, if it's your first time with us, we're so excited you're, you're with us as our guest. We would love to meet you immediately after the service. So some of our leadership will be right through those doors. And uh, yeah, and also we're just, Paul and I are glad to be home after two weeks away. So we missed you, but we carried you with us. And uh, we know how great the ministry was, as I said already. This Saturday, I want to make sure you all know, I know it's been announced already, but our Abbey women are gathering to have an experience with charcuterie. If you don't know what that is, you will. It's a food thing. It's from 4 to 6 right over here in the kitchen. Come on out. We want some adventures this year. So so this is our first adventure for the Abbey women, and I will also have a um, encouraging word. I was going to read you a thing. Nicole Rozier is going to be teaching us about the art of charcuterie. Um, but she, uh, if you don't know what it is, this might clue you in. I found this on her Facebook page. It said, don't let anyone treat you like lunch meat. You are charcuterie baby. <laughs> and that is the spirit of what we want to erupt every time we're together. You know, the world does try to treat you like lunch meat, but I'm pretty meat on a board. I don't know. That didn't sound right. But it'll be better. Get there. Get there if you're an Abbey lady. Then next Sunday night at 6 p.m., we're, okay, you know what? We just had worship, and how many of you can tell in that worship there's a moment you're just like, I just want to go for more? Next Sunday night at 6 p.m., we're going to have a whole night dedicated to that. So a worship night here at the Abbey where we're just going to make room for the presence of God to go for more. He can do that all week long in you, but there is something about the corporate anointing that is real, and things get accelerated is the word I hear in my spirit. God's always working in you, but the corporate anointing of worship helps accelerating freedom, healing, especially healing. And when I say healing, I mean all kinds of healing. Um, and you're going to hear some more about some great things God downloaded into Paul and I in England as we were ministering and receiving. And uh, so I wouldn't miss that worship night. Mark your calendar. And then, uh, where's Dom? I cannot see that. Come, Dom. Dom has an announcement that he wants to make about missions. Hey, good morning. Um, so first, practical thing before I announce the missions thing. Um, directly after service, if you wouldn't mind, if you feel led to do so, um, we actually have a crew that's coming in this week to um, redo the floors throughout the whole church. Um, and so uh, Matt Paul Hall graciously is going to head this up for me, and we're going to pick up all the chairs, stack them, and bring them up to the front. So if you'd like to help with that, great. So the announcement that I actually got called up here for, um, go ahead and put the slide up. Um, we are going back to Nicaragua this summer. Woo! All right. Um, as you can see, the trip is going to be July 3rd through July 10th. Okay, what better way to celebrate America than do it in Nicaragua, right? So um, if you are interested in going on this trip, there's a link right there. I made it smaller, tinyurl.com slash abbynica2020, okay? Um, so if you go to that link, don't do it during the sermon, like listen to Pastor Paul, okay? Um, but if you go to that link, if you have never gone with us before on a trip, you'll need to set up like a little profile and then just answer some questions. If you have any further questions, I'll be out in the front after service. You can come chat with me and I'll help you out with that. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. We're going back. All right. Yay. Thank you, Dom. We're going to receive our offering in a minute, and I was waiting on the Lord about the offering, and I thought of a phrase that I learned years ago, and um, I Googled it to make sure it didn't have any bad connotations, <laughs> because that's dangerous. But I was reading a book about gifted people, and it was describing people that are more intense, more complex, and more driven, and it said it this way. It said, they're just hot responders to life. And I love that phrase. Do you get what that phrase kind of implies? It's the only place I've ever seen it used. In other words, it's like there are people that just go, you know, somebody says, here's a need or here's a situation or here's something, and they go, what? I want to bring all of myself to that. And I want to 
I want to just give you props, Abbey Church. You guys, when it comes to generosity, you guys are hot responders, man. I'm so proud to be a part of a church that is a giving church. I've said this before, but the missionaries that have come through this year, you guys are givers. We have had amazing offerings for people doing amazing things around the world. And you guys have just reached out to every need. Yesterday, the whole meal that was put on here for the Hart family, for Vanessa's family, that was just a work of excellence and giving and can I say beauty? You know, it's beauty when people open their hearts and open their hands. And that's who this church is. And I just want to declare, well done. So this morning, yeah, well done you. There's something so right in the spirit of generosity that's in this house. And I'm believing, I know there's a kingdom principle that whatever you celebrate grows. And I'm not celebrating it to make it grow. I'm celebrating because I really see it. But also, isn't that great that it can grow? And I want us to be known as the church that just rushes to the need and overwhelms it. Or to the opportunity. So in the everything you're living, I just want to encourage you to find that part of you that wants to bring all. And don't be afraid. Life... And getting burned in life tries to make us kind of be a little more careful. But there's something freeing about just opening your heart and letting it go. I want to be a hot responder to the real kingdom opportunities that come in front of me. I want to be alive in every nerve ending to what God's doing. Because I know that while I do that, I'm dead in every nerve ending to what the enemy's doing. So come alive. I feel like I'm hearing the greatest showman song in my head this morning. Come alive, come alive. Some of you haven't seen that. You're going, why is she singing? I don't know. Blame it on jet lag. I don't know. Let's let's get ready to give and uh, let's just go to the Lord one more time. Father, I thank you that you have placed a special, special group of people in this building and in the influence sphere of this church After traveling around, yet again, I want to say I'm so grateful for the group of people you've assembled here. And Father, I just declare that in the Spirit, we are the kind of place, you are making us the kind of place that rises to the occasion. You are making us hot responders. You are making us people of your presence, people of the positive, people of purpose, people who just want to say, yes, Lord with all their hearts, to kingdom opportunities. So I declare that is stirred up in this place. Lord, stir it up even more. We give you permission to work in and among us and increase our generosity. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. There are multiple ways to give that you see on the screen before you, and you can walk it down to the basket as well. And we are also, at this time, going to release our children to the older children. The younger children are already in Kids Church, and the older ones can now join them. We love you, Abby.